Warning, in this video, I use a big adjustable wrench to change mower blades. It's pretty cringy. Not something you should do, but it's something that I gotta do today. Anyway guys, check it out. What is up guys, welcome to the South Coast. On today's video, we are finally swapping out the blades on my bad boy Maverick. It's been a long time coming. Let's get into it. I wanted to give you a little bit closer look of my old blade um, just to show you this is sort of what an abused mower blade looks like you see that that sort of got that concave there at the end super dull like a piece of round bar on the edge super dull super worn out out here definitely definitely abused these cut some stuff I shouldn't have been cutting some brush and whatnot. Uh, I think in a previous video I said I was probably going to try to resharpen these and just keep them as a spare, but I don't believe that's going to happen. I may just order another set of these new guys to uh, keep on hand as a spare and swap them out and try and keep these new ones a little, a little more sharp more often. So anyway, guys, that's what your mower blade looks like if you abuse it. All right guys, so these are the new blades. To be honest, I did not know they were made in the USA whenever I bought them, but super pumped to see that on the box. Um, they put the shipping label over top of the brand. Let me see if I can, hmm. I don't know. So put the shipping label over top of the brand. I will go ahead and put a link to these in the description. Um, so you can hop on Amazon and, and buy yourself a set. So 
Let's get them opened up, see what they look like, and uh, get them installed. Look at that, guys. So these are copperhead mower blades. These uh, are made for the 60 inch bad boy. Um, they've got these serrations on the back side. I'm not sure if these are considered like a, a gator style blade or um, pretty sure they're a mulching blade, but so they got a nice, nice long cutting edge. They got the serrations on the back side. Um, like I said, 100% made in the USA. That's super cool to see. Really pumped about that. So let's go ahead and get back under the mower. We'll get them installed. Guys, I want to do a little bit closer look at these just to show you the, the edge comes pretty, pretty well sharpened. Don't really need to sharpen it at all. Definitely a thick, nice thick blade. Looks like they use a good good piece of stock get you a close-up of this label you can see the copperhead made in the usa see the part numbers on there like i said i'll get these linked in the description so you can get a set for yours good looking blade Alright guys, well that is going to do it for today's video. Got those new mower blades swapped out. Uh, probably going to be a couple weeks before I cut again. This is sort of our dead of winter uh, here in this February time frame here at, on the south coast. So grass really isn't growing. Um, but 
we'll uh, wait a little bit, go try them out. We'll let you know how they go. We'll shoot a video whenever we do our first cut with the new blades and show you how they do. Um, I'm pretty pretty excited about it. I think it'll be good. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shoot a link to these new blades in the description. Y'all go check that out. Order some if you need some. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all watching these videos. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment. Um, I know there's going to be comments about using an impact to change the blades and don't use an adjustable wrench to change the blades going around your bolt head over, but got to do what you got to do sometimes. Tried to put the impact under there, but I only have a smaller impact. Had to adapt up to the right size socket. By the time I did that, couldn't get the uh, impact to fit between the ground and the bolt head. So it is what it is. I got it done. They're torqued to A spec. Probably not the right spec, but torqued to A spec. So I know those comments are coming. It is what it is. I understand. You're not wrong. Anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like I said, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And we'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast. Y'all have a good one.